Excellency, the First Lady, this morning you have been welcomed by the Accra Bishop of the Methodist Church. But let me also, as I stand here, welcome you from the Wesley House, that is the conference office of the Methodist Church. We are so delighted to have you here this morning as you join us, celebrate the faithfulness and the goodness of God in the lives of Ghanaians and the people called Methodists. 180 years we have been in existence here in Accra, but generally we have been 183 years in Ghana because we started it all 1st January 1835 in Cape Coast. Let me also thank you very much for the special phone call and the letter of congratulation that came from the presidency signed by you yourself, congratulating me as I was elected as a presiding bishop of the Methodist Church Ghana. This goes to show the partnership that has existed between us, the church and the state. And we also, as said by the Accra Bishop, we pledge that we will continue to partner the government in the discharge of good governance to the people of Ghana. We will play our part in bringing faith, in bringing the people to faith, and making sure that we have also made a contribution to the general welfare of the people of Ghana. So once again, we say thank you for accepting our invitation to be with us this morning. Thank you. To be here, the first response from my office was that I will not be able to make it because of the nature of my program. But I believe through your prayers, God intervened in the matter. Yeah. And 29 days later, the bishop received another letter from my office indicating my availability for today's event. And I'm happy to be here. Indeed, I was born on what was then known as Horse Road in Swalaba. I grew up here, so I am very familiar with this famous church from my infancy. Furthermore, my late mother-in-law, Mrs. Frances Griffith Randolph, was an elder of this church. So you can see I have a lot of contact with the church. Some of you know me to be an Anglican. However, I recently discovered a strong link between the Anglican and Methodist churches. And that is the father of Methodism, John Wesley, the best loved man in England, as he was described at the end of his life, was an Anglican and remained an Anglican right until his death. So, I am very much at home amongst you. From humble beginnings in Jamestown, in the days of Thomas Birch Freeman, John Ahuma Solomon, John Plange and Frederick France, the Accra Diocese has grown to having a membership of some 110,000, a ministerial staff strength of 214, and establishing 103 educational institutions. Successive priests and congregations are to be applauded for these achievements and for the many years of service and fellowship to country. You have been a good example of what it means to love one another and give cheerfully to those in need. And I have no doubt that this legacy of ministry and compassion will long grace this diocese. The theme of this celebration 
180 years of Methodism in Accra, sustaining our gains through effective stewardship. Recalls for me that famous passage in Colossians, chapter 3, verses 23 and 24. And I read, whatever you do, do it enthusiastically as something done for the Lord and not for men. Knowing that you will receive the reward of an inheritance from the Lord, you serve the Lord Christ." Unquote. For me, that is the essence of stewardship, service to God and to mankind. I came into office with the goal of improving the living standards of the Ghanaian people. In 22 months, our achievements, even though modest, have been visible for all to see. In this church at least, Reverend Osamu Taken attests to the fact that the monthly electricity and water bills of the church have reduced. as it has for everybody. I'm also sure that we have parents here whose wards are beneficiaries of the free senior high school policy. We have achieved a number of noteworthy successes, including restoring discipline in the management of our public finances. But I acknowledge that life is still not as easy as it should be. One thing for which I am certain is that there is hope for a better and brighter tomorrow. The words of Holy Scripture in Jeremiah chapter 12 verse 2 says, You have planted them and they have taken root. They grow and bear fruit. Likewise, the policies and programs be implemented by my government have taken root, they will grow, and they will bear fruit. Amen. As we celebrate the 180th anniversary of this church, I conclude with this famous statement from John Wesley, and I quote, Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can." Unquote. May God bless the Accra Diocese of the Methodist Church of Ghana and us all. And may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Mamunya, I feel, I feel.